The good news, I found what I believe to be the source of the problem. Twisty cables. So I need to make a slip ring thing go right there. But I think that's good news because I can repair that. Uh, it may not be today, but it may be today. We'll see. But yeah, she's definitely keen, as you can see. She is definitely keen. Sweet. To show you what I had to do, I had to attach some magnet wire to the bottom of the cable when I pulled it through. So when it comes time very soon, I can just pull on that. I had to uh, tie something to the blade, stop it from wimping around. This is what I've done. That was where the bad bit was. Uh, I've used some of this cable shield stuff. That's where that is. So that's gonna go on there somewhere. And I'm gonna try pulling this cable down. It might be a case of pulling and then pushing. Oh, there it is, that's good. This one. Maybe it's not going to want to come down anymore. No. Right, I'll just have to make it fit on there. That'll have to do like that. I've just figure I've aided the cable round and down. I can't get that to go down anymore. Uh, but that should be fine. Just got to put this there to stop any movement. It's, it's right at the front there, so that's good. And then put the chain back on and back in the air, I reckon. Sweet. All good news, ready to go back up. Look, when I give it a spin by hand. It's all good in the hood. Sweet. Well, stop a sec. Sorry. That's nearly coming out, that bolt. Thank you. Oh, I've got to remember to keep an eye on that. She goes. So dark in Britain at the moment. It's three in the afternoon. It's going to be straight into life. Now, dude. Thank you, brother. Right, I won't worry about the guide ropes for you. I'll just go have a quick look in the shed and see if it's making any power. Bear in mind it will be moving about on the tab and tightened up the guide ropes. 
Yep, I think we're gonna get some juice there. Right, that just put the brake on straight away, so I'm gonna put this inverter on. And I'm gonna put this 400 watt light on through the inverter. Oh, that's soon uh, empty the batteries out. Let's see if it gets going again. I'm going to turn the inverter off. Anyway, that went haywire for a minute, so I'm sure there'll be plenty of uh, juice, so we'll leave it a bit and then we'll come back. Yeah, that's going pretty well, my friend. So we'll go in the shed in a minute and see what's going on. So yeah, we've got some power coming in and we've got this inverter running these lights, which I think are 100 watts each. Anyway, I can't see that. That's irrelevant, but we'll keep an eye and hopefully we can get those batteries up a bit. See what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put this grinder on. 900 watts. Go on, go! Seven hundred and fifty watts. Oh. Batteries are going a bit low then, but look, straight up to twenty-five. I do need to install the other batteries, don't I? That's what I need to do. But yeah, so far so good. Seems to respond positively when you put a load on through the inverter. So we'll give it five minutes and we'll come back and see what the voltage is saying. Sweet. Right, let's stick that grinder on again then. chain that's about it whoa hey birdies Stick that grinder on again. And the light.
See, the batteries are really struggling now. I think they've uh, had enough of being out in the freezing cold. But we'll see. I'll keep coming back. But it's interesting how the power output seems to go up with the load on. My worry is I just don't want the batteries going. They went below 22 there, which is 100% uh, inadvisable. Just going to turn the uh, 200 watts worth of lights on. So yeah, it's, uh, it is game. We'll keep you posted. Sweet. Red light keeps coming on. Taking a note, it's 3.30 p.m. and it's on 2.722. So we'll leave it, we can tell in a few hours how much it's made. Let's see if we get the red light to come on. There you go. It's not warm, but it's not cold. Anyway, I guess it's doing its job. It's just putting the brake on earlier than I would imagine. Sweet.